All right, it is that time of the year, folks. Wedding season is in full force. Maybe you still have prom coming up. I wanted to do a look that you could wear for any kind of a special event. All of the makeup I used on my face today is under $20, and all of the outfits I'm gonna be showing you guys are also under $20, which is amazing for special event dresses because as you know formal dresses can be friggin pricey event kind of dresses are usually something that you spend a ton of money on and then you literally wear them like once or twice so i found so many cute dresses on thread up for under 20 bucks i feel like this is the perfect option if you need something affordable for an event because you can get high-end name brands for literally up to 90 percent off i partnered with thread up for this video you guys know i'm addicted to thread up you can just find such good deals on there. I found some of my favorite jeans on there. The thing I really love about ThreadUp is that the stuff they put on there looks like new. It's super easy to navigate through their site because you just select the size you want, the color, the price point, the brand. You can search by pretty much anything. And I found these dresses in literally about 20 minutes because I just put in all that criteria. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the dress options that I found on there. And I also found shoes in my size, which is hard to find, in box for under 20 bucks. And then we'll get into the makeup part of this video and I'll show you guys how I got this look. But if you wanna check out ThreadUp, ThreadUp is hooking you guys up with a 25% off discount code. If you use the code BAYRITO25, you'll get 25% off your first order. So I'll have the link for ThreadUp right at the top of the description box down below but I'm excited to show you guys the dresses that I found. One of my favorite parts of getting a thread up box in the mail is the polka dot tissue paper. How freaking cute is this? So this is a box that it comes in. I'm just gonna show you guys a few of the dresses that I found and the heels I also got on there, but this first dress is the one that I kind of centered this whole makeup look around. So this dress that I have on right now is by the brand French Connection. The estimated retail price for this one was $119 and I got it for $20.99. So a little bit over $20, but it counts 99 cents. This is a bodycon dress and I feel like bodycon dresses are usually pretty flattering because they just kind of suck everything in. I do still wear Spanx underneath pretty much any dress that I wear because why not? But it's comfortable. I can move in this one. It doesn't feel like too tight. Some of these can be really thick and you pretty much can't breathe. I do have a wedding coming up, which is how I thought of this video idea. So you guys might be seeing this dress on Instagram in a couple months because I feel like this is a contender for the wedding. This next dress is this really fun kind of sequin dress from Express. Estimated retail price for this one is 80 bucks. I got it for $17.99. I also love that ThreadUp puts a little tag on here so you you just feel like you're actually shopping and it feels like new. But this one I thought would be fun for like New Year's Eve too. This one's a tiny bit big. I probably could like pin it in certain areas. But it still fits and it's comfy. It has this like stretch to it and it's a nice thick material. This one might be a New Year's Eve option. This next one's also a tiny bit big on me. I feel like it could be a little bit tighter, but it's this off the shoulder cocktail dress by Valerie Bertinelli and it was $14.99 and it's dark blue. I feel like this would be really pretty with like gold jewelry and maybe even like a deeper lip. $14. 99. And then this last one is one of those dresses that I feel like could be either totally dressed up or dressed down. I like buying those kind of items because you can just wear it for multiple uses. So it is more flowy and it's almost like kind of a bohemian dress. It has some lace detail on the sleeves and flowier sleeves, but I feel like you could totally dress this one up with layering like gold jewelry or even some gold hoops. You could have like a gold clutch or just have like a fancier purse. But the estimated retail for this one is $71 and I got it for $17.99. This one I would also wear with just like a jean jacket and flats in the summer. And because it's so flowy and loose, it'll just be really comfy for that. This one is a win. All right, so let's get into the makeup part of this video. I did a full face. Every product that I use is under 20 bucks as well. I did a pretty neutral eye, so you could kind of wear this with pretty much any color dress. You could just swap out the lip color for something that matched your dress. Here we go. All right, so today's setup is a little interesting because the movers come tomorrow, so I'm literally stacked i have you guys stacked up on cardboard boxes right now so i've already washed moisturized primed my face i'm wearing the dress that i chose so we're gonna like center this whole look around this light gold kind of color and for my hair i just did like a little french braid kind of thing in the front and then basically just like put a shit ton of bobby pins in my hair and made a little bun so i'm gonna start out with this nyx dewy finish setting spray i actually don't think I've tried this. If I have, it's been a while. Last night at 10 p.m., I had to make a trip to the drugstore because there were three things that I could not find because they were packed in boxes. So I had to pick up a setting spray, so that's why we're trying this one today. Another drugstore one I really like is the Hard Candy Black Bottle one. I'm gonna go in with my Pore Perfecting Primer by Revlon. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this between my fingers and just put it right where I have some major pores, and this just tones it down. 
actually works. I've talked about this a lot. So foundation, I'm gonna be mixing COIO Long Lasting Life Proof. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite drugstore foundations in 101 with Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in 115. I've been liking this one, especially on camera. This looks really great on camera. It's very smoothing. It's not the most long lasting, so mixing it with this definitely helps. I could just use this one. I'm just in the mood to mix it. I'm just gonna stipple this on with my Sigma F80. If you have oily skin, you'll definitely want to set this combo. One of my favorite drugstore powders is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. That one's bomb. When I had oily skin before Accutane, I would use that one and it really does help my makeup stay on, didn't break me out. With dry skin, I don't need to set my foundation, which is friggin' amazing. If you have dry skin, try not setting it with the powder. It looks so much more skin-like when you don't set it with the powder. A lot of times you really don't need to because your skin isn't causing the foundation to melt off your face. So whatever's left over, I'm just gonna build up on my scarring right here. CYO, you can really build up. So the best concealer combo I've found to date for my under eyes personally and the coverage and everything I like is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer mixed in with the KKW Concealer. This combo is amazing. This one is under $20, this is 18 bucks. If you want just a drugstore option and you don't wanna mix two concealers, then you could do Maybelline Fit Me Concealer or Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, both of those are bomb. I've done a lot of videos recently talking about kind of like my favorites. I did what's in my everyday makeup drawer. I did a drugstore makeup starter kit. So if you wanna know kind of like my top in those categories, then you can check out those videos. So my under eye setting powders, I managed to drop in the toilet in Chicago. I just got back from Chicago a day ago. I managed to drop both my Made Share Press powder and my Physician's Formula powder in the toilet. So I've already ordered a new Mature one from the Wish app, but it's not supposed to be here for like two weeks. I'm just gonna use my Physician Formula ones today. So like I said, I don't set my entire face. I usually do set just this part so that I can easily blend powder stuff on top of it, like my bronzer and everything. So I'm gonna try this Revlon Photo Ready powder. It said illuminating on the little display thing. Hopefully this isn't one of those powders that like takes away the coverage for me. Don't know how illuminating that is. As I'm using my usual Maybelline Tattoo Studio. So for an eyeshadow base, I'm just gonna take my same concealer. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer is actually a really good eyeshadow primer. So moving on to contour. I love having kind of a more strong contour for special events makeup because in photos, it's just gonna make your cheekbones kind of stand out. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the shade Light. This is an eyebrow powder, but it is amazing for contour for fair skin. I'm also gonna take this just on the tip of my nose just gives a little bit more shape and then a little bit underneath my bottom lip to make it look more plump. Just puts a shadow under there and it makes your bottom lip look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go in with blush first and then see if I'm feeling a bronzer on top. We can always add it after. I've been really into this one. This is CYO Tell It Straight. Super pretty glowy blush. Has a little bit of like peach in there, pinky peach. I brought this one with me in Chicago. This is definitely a glowy blush. Like you can see the glow there. I'm just gonna blend everything out. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. You can get this thing on sale for, I think, around $11. I did a video on my favorite affordable eyeshadow palettes under $20, bucks. so you can watch that video if you want to know my other ones. So to go with this dress, I feel like I could almost go either way. I could use some of the pinks in here. I could use even, like, the purples. I think I'm kind of just feeling like a champagne eye. Oh, wait, I didn't do a highlight. What am I doing? So I'm just going to take this shade. I might add a little bit of the white in there, depending on how it turns out. Oh yeah. Bring a little bit of this on my cubist bow, just whatever's left over. My face is already pretty glowy right now, so I'm not gonna go too ham with the nose highlight. So to start out, I'm gonna go in with this light tan shade for a transition. Pop that into the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with this matte brown shade right here. I'm starting by making kind of like a V shape right here, and then I'm gonna blend it inwards a bit. Then whatever's left over on my brush now, I'm just taking the same brush. This is the Japanese brush and blending inwards, and then also up a little bit into the crease. Using that same blending brush, I'm just going to lightly blend out the edges here. I don't wanna bring the brown too high, so I just want it to kind of fade out right there. Now I wanna deepen it up a little bit with this cooler toned, almost like it's like a gray brown, a brown. And I'm just placing that right into the crease. I just wanna define it a little bit more, back in and blending. Now on my finger, I'm gonna go in with this super pretty shade that pretty much almost exactly like matches my dress. I'm just taking it on my finger and I'm gonna press it right on my lid. 
I'll probably use a brush afterwards just to get it exactly where I want it, but you get the best color payoff usually if you use your finger with lid shades. So I'm bringing this all the way in and then kind of just using my finger to lightly fade it into that brown. So I'm gonna use that same shade, but just wet it with the setting spray. That just gives it the like extra metallic look now. For an extra, extra pop, I'm taking that same face highlight shade I used, this big pink one right here. It looks lighter when it's on your skin, so I'm just pressing this right on the center, and that is definitely giving us a little something extra right there. But for my inner corner, I'm gonna take this white shade right here. I'm gonna line my waterline with some black eyeliner. Is this one sharp-ish? Wish me luck. Cry a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add some black eyeshadow and stuff and like blend out the lower lash line and make it super smoky, but first thing I'm gonna put on some liquid eyeliner to my top. We're gonna do a wing. Why does this one brow hair always wanna chill down here? Get in your zone, bro. My eyes have been getting more droopy by the day, literally, so wings are, that's as good as we're gonna get. Now we're gonna work on the lower lash line, so I'm gonna go back in with the palette. There isn't a black shade, so I think what I'm gonna do is just smudge some black liner down there, but first I'm gonna take the darkest brown shade in here, which is this one. Just taking a flat edge brush, and I'm just gonna line that right underneath my lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner now and just kind of smudge it out. I'm gonna go with this brown shade now on just a really tiny smudger brush and keep blending down there. So before we put on false lashes, I'm just gonna coat my upper lashes with a little bit of mascara. I just like to do this because it hides your natural lashes a bit more. If you are not a lashes wearer normally and you're just doing this for a special event, I would definitely try and practice a few times before you actually try and put them on for the real event. My biggest tip is to let your lash glue dry down to the point where it's almost dry before you stick it on your eyes. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. And lashes I'm gonna be using are the Eyelore number 121s. You can get these on Ulta. These give you a nice dramatic eye, but they're still kind of lighter on the inside and more dramatic right here. So it doesn't look like too overpowering. They just look really nice and almost like cat eye-like. So that is all of the lash glue I use. You don't need a ton. The key is just to let it dry. So as my lash goes drying, I'm gonna spray on some setting spray. I don't feel like I need a whole lot more dew right now, so I'm gonna just do a tiny little spritz of this. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna put on some bottom lash mascara. My favorite is Wet n Wild Mega Length. I'm just going for something a little bit more neutral that could work with any of the dresses that I showed you guys in the beginning. So I'm gonna take this NYX liner. This is in the shade 860 Peekaboo Natural and just line my lips with this first. I'm kind of wringing this all over my lip too. So over top of that, I'm gonna go with the CYO Metallic Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Plead the Fifth. This is a super pretty pink kind of rose gold. All right, and then I wanna lighten this a tiny bit. You could totally leave it at this if you like this color. I'm gonna go with my Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer and Tease. Mostly just on the center. And that just toned it down a little bit. All right, so this is the final makeup look. Everything that I used on my face and that I'm wearing on my body right now from ThreadUp is under 20 bucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrido family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.